All right, thanks for joining us here on America's Weather Center. That is a live look from the Fox Weather Beast, where we find Fox Weather meteorologist Haley Meyer. We did a bunch of severe weather coverage last night. It was me in the studio, you in the Beast, and we're back at it again, at least for a little bit longer before you uh, end up working with Ian and Steve over the next couple of hours. So listen, uh, what, is, what is your plan right now? I, I can see where you guys are. I'm going to show the map in just a second. You're kind of along the Red River-ish, right? And you're going to head down toward that tornado warning south of Wichita Falls. Am I correct? Yesterday, where do you go? Yesterday proved a bit challenging when it comes to tracking out storms as you were right along there with us. We had what Brandon and Corey called milk, which is a very uh, just kind of soupy type of environment. We had the fog in the area and it was just kind of a mess and that ate up some of the storm energy specifically where we were at. And I do want to highlight where we were at because other places had very strong tornadoes. At least that's how they appeared on radar, still waiting for the National Weather Service to go out and survey some of the damage. So while we may not have seen a tornado yesterday, there certainly were plenty of them across the region. It's all about picking your spot and sticking to it. And so today our goal was we are picking a spot and we are not moving. We're going to make sure that we can confine our uh, tracking zone. And right now, to your point, we chose the Red River region. The other spot, which would be good to see some storms where Mark Suddeth is headed, is a bit further north into north um, eastern portions of Oklahoma. The storm mode there a little messy. Where we're heading now, more of that discrete type of supercell structure. At this point, you can see in your Ada, Oklahoma, we have a, a couple tornado warnings up there, but we are tracking further south. I've noticed the rotation on those cells. And actually, Ari, we drove through those cells. Uh, we missed the, the hail core, thankfully, but we had some heavy rain at times. And I could see a little bit of that rotation starting to come to play. But you can see kind of where we're at, a very small tornado warning on this current cell. But we have watched this storm from the very beginning. And at this point, uh, we are heading towards the town of Wilson, and we're about to make a sharp cut down towards the south from Wilson and potentially debate on if we're going to cross over the Red River or not. That's a big decision when it comes to tracking out storms because there's not a lot of um, bridges that will allow us to cross over. So you have to pick your battles and make sure that you're also in a safe spot. If something does produce, you wanna make sure that you can get away from it if need be. So it's not about only seeing it, it's about how can we make sure that we see it and we stay safe. And so um, at this point, the rotation's been getting stronger, Ari. Yes. I can even see it on the on the storm winds. Yeah, I was about to say that. I've been kind of diagnosing this storm a little bit. And initially, it wasn't looking all that impressive. And it kind of looked like they were about to, uh, to, to kill this tornado warning. But I'm guessing they're going to have to put a new one out because that does look pretty intense, uh, some pretty intense rotation there. Actually, you know, interestingly enough here, Haley, look at this. So this is from, the, I think, uh, the FDR radar, which is farther up toward the northwest. So if I'm not mistaken here, and my brain might be a little jumbled, but that sure does look like a uh, clockwise rotation to me. <laughs> Am I yeah. seeing that right? Uh, no, I mean, you are. It, that's what it looks like to me. And yesterday, even, they had highlighted um, the SPC and, and a couple other zones that there could be a chance at seeing some anticyclonic rotation as well. So we could see um, both types of rotation with, torna with tornadoes. Now, if you do have this sort of backwards motion, if you will, of a storm in terms of how it rotates, mm -hmm. typically they're not going to be as strong. Um, but still, you know, it's an interesting way that this storm has evolved. We've seen multiple pockets of it trying to lower something a little bit. Upper level rotation just hasn't been able to do anything yet. But to your point from yesterday, we didn't stick to our gut as much as we wish we did. We had a big debrief Oof. going into um, uh -oh. the few hours after we were done. And it's like, we thought, okay, let's go. Oh, we got uh, confirmed. So we are getting closer and closer no, to this. This is, this um, is Haley, right this is the storm that's farther up toward the Northeast. This one's up in uh, Oklahoma. North. Okay. This is Northeast okay, of good. Ada. And we've been watching that one get worse and worse. There was that, That's the reason why I went up to it. That looks bad. That is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Yeah. Like you can see the debris on the radar. It's moving right over Allen, Oklahoma right now. So here we go. The main event is starting. This yeah. is a confirmed big violent tornado that's on the ground. It's going to be headed up toward Calvin, Oklahoma. So these are places where people absolutely need to be in their safe space right now. Um, Haley, I mean, this really escalated in a hurry. You know, I feel like it was about an hour ago. We're looking at the radar saying, hmm, is this going to be the main event quite yet? Do we need to wait for the dry line to get a little bit closer? And, you know, it just goes to show. Right. 
when you have this kind of environment, any storm that pops up in it is fair game. I mean, look at this, just a perfect uh, little hook echo on that with a violent, violent signature on the on the velocities. Yeah. Yeah, and it seems like the peak intensity for tornado potential is actually 4 to 7 p.m. is what we've been highlighted, especially a bit closer to where we're at in our neck of the woods. But that's not too far. Again, we drove through mm. that storm. We saw the early onset of it. It merged with a different cell a bit further south. And so I think their growth in that merger is helping to aid in some of that rotation. And even I noted, I could see it beginning to wow. rotate lots of lightning as well. And that was when it was much smaller. Um, but just yesterday too, Ari, we were on the cell that produced that massive wedge tornado near Greensburg. We obviously didn't follow it that far north it was dark it was dangerous to do so but we've been seeing the origins of these storms we know that they have the potential especially with that low level jet really starting to kick in and unfortunately this could be one of many confirmed tornadoes that we see uh, going into today and we hope they stay as rural as they possibly can yeah and just to give people some perspective on this i'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see which part of oklahoma we're in it's a little bit south of i-40 so this is southeast of oklahoma city the pink box that you see there that is a confirmed tornado. Um, I'm not sure if storm chasers have seen it or not, but we can 100% see it on radar. Uh, there's no doubt about that. By the way, Haley, I wanted to mention to you the storm that you're on, which is farther down toward the south, not far from Wichita Falls. I think they had a report of some three inch hail in that one recently. So it's producing huge hail. Uh, it could produce a tornado. Did yeah. they end up extending the tornado warning on that one? Let's go down and real quick and look at it. Then I want to focus on the other one. No, they just extended with a severe thunderstorm warning. So there's some rotation in it, but they don't think yeah. it's quite enough for a tornado warning quite yet. Yeah, and you know what? They more than likely, maybe you can scroll over and see what they say with the severe thunderstorm warning, if it's a tornado possible. Sure. Uh, with that, I wouldn't be surprised if National Weather Service went to our possible on the extension of a severe thunderstorm warning, especially on the example that we had recently, just yesterday, the fact that the um, cell in Western Oklahoma was able to cycle so many different times. And so I think that'll be uh, more of, of a thought. It seems like they just went destructive with it, but we yep. may be losing service getting into some of these areas, so I'll give it back to you. Look at this, Haley. Uh, you can actually see a little weak echo region on this. So sometimes, this is not something you see every day. This is what you see only in some of the stronger tornadoes. So I cannot stress this enough, how people in Calvin, uh, Oklahoma, need to take this seriously. Do not be driving along uh, mm -hmm. Route 75 anywhere near there. And what I'm referring to here is this little feature right here. It looks like a donut hole, right? So you're actually seeing the tornado right. that's taking debris, you know, rain, hail, all the stuff that's being thrown around. You're seeing that actually kind of a minimum in the middle, like a donut hole. You're actually seeing the middle of the tornado there. Bounded weak echo region is what we call that. And let's, t I, I don't even want to look at this velocity. Oh my goodness, that is, uh, that's really bad. This is a uh, undoubtedly a large violent tornado that is in progress right now, uh, a little bit southeast of Oklahoma City. This does not include Oklahoma City, uh, but I can't stress enough, Calvin, Atwood, Atwood's another spot, uh, Crossroads, if any of these towns sound familiar, uh, get in your safe space right now, which is the lowest level of your house and as close to the center as you can. And if you have a storm shelter, you should get in there too. Horntown, Lamar, other spots where you need to get in your tornado shelter. And Haley, I'm looking at the... Um, Another storm that's kind of on the north side of this that has some spin in it. I don't think that, that one's going to be as bad. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is not a good situation. A little bit northeast of Ada. Look at that radar signature. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, it's awful to see something like that. I'm looking at uh, how many people. It's about just shy of 3,000 people under that confirmed tornado warning right now. Mm. But you have eight different schools. And we were speaking to folks in Oklahoma City, and they said, are my kids going to be okay coming home from school? Because some of the stronger potential for tornadoes comes in right around they they leaving, so or them leaving around 3 p.m., 3.30. And so mm. um, you have kiddos at school, people going to work and thinking it's not going to come to me. And then you have this kind of violent signature nearby. Yeah, really, really bad stuff. Um, all right, Haley, we're going to transfer over to uh, Fox Weather Now here in just a second. You guys are still going to be out here over the next couple of hours. Uh, thanks for what you're doing. I mean, this is going to be some really important yeah. special coverage that we have coming up here over the next few hours. And, guys, if this is any indication of what we're going to see through the rest of the day, it's going to be a very long afternoon. Once again, this is a confirmed large violent tornado that's in progress southeast of Oklahoma City near Allen, Oklahoma. It's headed up toward Calvin, Atwood, Lamar and Horntown.